banks is. Sorry about the light. The sun is going down. It's nighttime. We left Quartzside, Arizona, and we are going to Sedona. I was gonna go to Slap City with a couple friends from the RTR, but I just need a couple more days of like being not with people. And so we're gonna go to Sedona and spend a couple days there and then go to Slabs. We'll see. I don't know, but I wish that I could show you guys the view going into Sedona, like driving into Sedona is so pretty, but the sun's going down, obviously, like I said three times already, and um, we won't be able to see it, but I'll show you in the morning when we wake up what our view is. We just went to Walmart. We had absolutely zero food left, and there was a, a market in Quartzsite, like a small one, but like one loaf of bread was $5 there, and I'm just not trying to do that. So we drove to Phoenix to find a Walmart and then spent like $170 on groceries because that's how out of food we were. And that should last us like a, like a few weeks. So we're good. I guess that's my, my grocery bill for two people for a month. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the morning unless something interesting happens from now until then. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> next day we're in Sedona and we just took like a really short half mile hike to a vortex I'll just show you around I've been here before so I've made a video about this place before but hopefully this trip we can do a couple things that I haven't done um, there's a couple of spots that I've never been to that I would really like to go to so we'll see how it goes <laughs> up this hill back to the parking lot where my car is but the road is so narrow that you can't even walk on it and the turns are so sharp that like if you walk on it someone might hit you so we're on the trail back to the parking lot ay 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 Now you see them in the wild, you go to pick one up, they're going to rear up on their hind legs and get real defensive. Uh -huh. 
but then you can just pick them up and they'll go, okay, this is not so bad, and they're fine. back at the camper for the day we had a more interesting day than I thought we were gonna do I showed you guys some of the clips of um, us like holding snakes and tarantulas and bunnies and yeah there's this guy out on Main Street in Sedona and he basically just brings a bunch of his animals out every day so that he can educate the public about like species that people like generally find kind of intimidating and his message is basically like educate yourself about snakes and spiders and just desert creatures in general and don't hurt them just because you don't know what they are and just know that most snakes are more scared of you than you are of them so just don't bother them just keep walking don't hurt anything <laughs> and live your life and let them live their life you know? And so that was really cool. I overcame some fears today. Never in my life thought I would hold a tarantula, neither did Joseph, but we both did it. And yeah, now we're back at the camper. It's almost 8 p.m., I believe, and we don't have any more plans for the day. So I'm just gonna chill. Joseph's gonna work on some keychains, and I'll see you guys in the morning. That stuff over there gonna be done drying at 4 30. I don't know where it goes. I'm throwing. I'm fixing it. I'm reorganizing. This needed to be done. This is dangerous. There's scissors and batteries and blades and lighters and batteries and hooks. I have a can of butane over here. Butane? It's right here. So I decided to get a couple more days in Sedona. <laughs> Go figure. And I woke up this morning and filmed a video about whether or not the RTR is worth going to and just talking about my personal experience. So we're just trying to be productive today. I filmed, edited, and uploaded. Joseph is in the corner making a fucking racket while I'm trying to film because he doesn't know how to put stuff on the ground. He just knows how to throw stuff on the ground. He's reorganizing the junk drawer. He finished doing and polishing those uh, resin cast flowers today, and he did the headlights on the Pathfinder. Let me show you what I got yesterday. I, these are so cute. Hold on. Okay, so this is an amethyst that I've had for a while. This I got in Quartzsite. Look how cool this is. Very nice. Um, this is a tangerine quartz. Super pretty. And this is, I believe this is jasper. If I'm wrong, just tell me that I'm wrong. Don't come at me. This is goldstone, which is so freaking pretty. I told Joseph that it looks like lip gloss that I would want to own in like sixth grade. This looks like Labradorite, but we aren't exactly sure what it is because it didn't have a label when we got it, but it's so freaking pretty, man. And it catches the light in different ways. This is a baby little quartz. Pretty sure this is just a regular quartz or a copper quartz. This is blue goldstone and Dude, it's really hard to see in this light, but it actually is like really, really deep blue and like very, very shiny, just like that one. This is Carl, my Marmo Moss Ball. This is a geode. 
that I got yesterday in Quartzsite. I love this thing. Look how pretty this is. The light's not coming in the right way. Let's let's fix this. Look at it. Look at it in the light. It's so pretty. Uh, uh, uh. I love this. And it's got the other half, so all of them are lined up. So this is all of them together. I love them. They're so cute and pretty. Nice. Here we go. Refreshed. Looking good, bingo.